Hey guys, I'm Jack. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about airplanes. An airplane is a vehicle made of metal that is able to fly through the air and transport people and goods from one place to another. There are many types of planes. Some of the most common include commercial passenger flights, cargo planes, and military aircraft. If you sort it by flight ways, we have two types of planes. Fixed wing aircraft, rotary wing aircraft. Fixed wing aircraft are planes that rely on forward speed to generate lift and remain in the air. They typically have long wings and are often used to transport passengers and cargo. They usually require a runway for takeoff and landing. Rotary wing aircraft or helicopters use rotors to generate lift and remain in the air. They can hover in the air. They can take off and land without a runway. But we also have some weird planes, like these guys. Genius engineers designed them. Combination fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft are aircraft that can both fly with their fixed wing and hover with their rotary wing. These aircraft can be used for various purposes, such as search and rescue missions, surveillance, and transport. Due to their combination design, they offer more excellent range and flexibility than traditional fixed wing or rotary wing aircraft. The company that helps move people and cargo is called Civil Aviation. These companies we call airlines, such as Air China, American Airlines, Japan Airlines, Emirates. Passengers are going to different destinations. We need different routes, international and domestic routes. International routes refer to routes taken by aircraft that cross international borders. These routes are typically used to transport passengers and cargo between countries and often take place over water. International routes may be direct, with the aircraft flying non-stop from one country to another, or they may have multiple stops along the way. These routes require extensive planning and coordination with air traffic control and other ground service providers in order to ensure the safety and efficiency of the flight. Aircraft operators must also adhere to the rules and regulations of all countries through which the aircraft will pass, as well as any applicable international agreements. Domestic routes refer to routes taken by aircraft within the same country. These routes are typically used to transport passengers and cargo between cities in the same country. Domestic routes can be direct, with the aircraft flying non-stop from one city to another, or they may have multiple stops along the way. These routes require extensive planning and coordination with air traffic control and other ground service providers in order to ensure the safety and efficiency of the flight. Aircraft operators must also adhere to the rules and regulations of the country they are flying in, as well as any applicable domestic agreements. In order to meet different consumption needs, Tickets with different travel classes. Generally, we have three classes. First class, business class, economy class. Aircraft first class is the highest class of service offered on an aircraft. It typically features larger seats, more legroom, and extra amenities such as gourmet meals, free drinks, and entertainment. First class passengers also receive priority boarding and disembarking and access to exclusive lounges and other services. First class tickets are usually much more expensive than tickets for other classes, but offer a higher level of comfort and luxury. Aircraft business class is the second level of service offered on an aircraft. It typically features larger seats, more legroom, and amenities such as meals and drinks. Business class passengers also receive priority boarding and disembarking, as well as access to exclusive lounges and other services. Business class tickets are usually more expensive than economy class tickets, but offer a higher level of comfort and convenience. Aircraft economy class is the most basic level of service offered on an aircraft. It typically features smaller seats and less legroom than other classes, as well as fewer amenities such as meals and drinks. Economy class tickets are usually the least expensive option, but offer the lowest level of comfort. If you need to take a trip by air, you should go to the airport. An airport is a facility that serves as a hub for air traffic. It consists of a terminal building, several runways, large parking lots, and other infrastructure such as fuel tanks, hangars, and firefighting facilities. Airports are used to transport passengers and cargo between cities, countries, and continents. The largest airports have multiple terminals, dozens of gates, and hundreds of shops, restaurants, and services.
Let's look at some of the important parts that keep the airport running. Terminal. A terminal building is the main building at an airport. It contains check-in desks, ticket offices, baggage claim areas, security checkpoints, and gates. The terminal building also contains a range of shops, restaurants, and other services. Passengers enter and exit through the main entrance and check in at the desks before proceeding to the security checkpoint and boarding their flights. Airline and other personnel often use the staff entrances. There are usually restrooms and other facilities located within the terminal. Hangars and pads. An airport hangar is a large enclosed structure used to store aircraft. Airports typically have several hangars with each able to house multiple aircraft. Hangars are often located away from the main airport building and provide protection for the aircraft from the weather and other elements. Hangars also serve as workshops for aircraft maintenance and repair. Airport pads are areas of concrete or asphalt that are used to support parked aircraft and assist with their takeoff and landing. The pads are typically connected to the runway and have markings to indicate where the aircraft should be parked. They provide an area for the aircraft to park while they are not in use as well as when they are being loaded and unloaded. Runway Runways are large strips of concrete or asphalt that airplanes use for takeoff and landing. Airports typically have several runways in order to be able to accommodate multiple planes. The length, width, and surface material of each runway are determined by the type of aircraft that will be using it. The runways are aligned in different directions in order to provide the greatest possible flexibility for takeoff and landing. Fuel tank. Airport fuel tanks are large storage tanks that contain jet fuel for aircraft. They are typically located in remote areas away from the main airport buildings and are filled by fuel trucks. The tanks are designed to safely store large quantities of fuel and must meet stringent safety standards. They are regularly inspected and tested to ensure they are in good working order. Oftentimes, they are fitted with fire suppression systems to reduce the risk of fire. Firefighting Team Airport firefighting teams are responsible for responding to any fires that may occur at the airport. They are highly trained professionals that use specialized equipment to extinguish fires quickly and safely. The team typically consists of a number of firefighting vehicles, including large pumper trucks, foam carriers, and tankers. They also have specialized tools and protective gear such as fireproof clothing, breathing apparatus, and firefighting foam. Security and Customs Airport security and customs are a combination of measures put in place to protect the safety and security of passengers, crew, and the airport itself. The security consists of a variety of measures, such as metal detectors, X-ray machines, cameras, and bomb-sniffing dogs. Security personnel is responsible for patrolling the airport and performing searches if necessary. Customs officers search for prohibited items such as drugs, weapons, and fake documents. They also ensure that travelers have the correct travel documentation and visas when entering a country. Security and customs use a variety of methods to search luggage and passengers, including X-ray machines, physical inspections, and sniffer dogs. The security and customs process is designed to protect the security of the airport and the country it serves. Ground crew. Airport ground crew are responsible for various tasks related to the movement of aircraft and baggage. They include aircraft marshallers, who guide aircraft onto the runways and parking spots, baggage handlers, who unload and load luggage and cargo, and ticket agents, who check passengers in and manage boarding passes. Ground crew are also responsible for cleaning the aircraft, refueling and performing maintenance checks. They work in close coordination with other airport personnel to ensure the smooth and safe running of the airport. Airport controller. Airport controllers are responsible for coordinating air traffic at the airport. They use a variety of methods, including radar and radio communication, to ensure that aircraft depart and arrive safely. Controllers will also work with the ground crew to ensure that aircraft land and take off in a timely manner. The controller's job is to provide accurate and timely information to both pilot and ground personnel, ensuring that all safety procedures are followed and that everyone remains safe. Dispatcher An airport dispatcher is responsible for coordinating the ground operations of aircraft. They are in charge of managing the movement of aircraft on the ground, including their taxiing, fueling, and maintenance.
They communicate with the ground crew to ensure that aircraft arrive and depart on time. Dispatchers also create flight plans, coordinate the loading and unloading of baggage and cargo, and process passengers. They work to ensure the smooth and safe operation of the airport at all times. Pilots Pilots are responsible for operating and navigating aircraft. They must be highly trained and competent in the use of aircraft systems and in the principles of flight. Pilots are usually divided into two categories, commercial pilots and military pilots. Commercial pilots fly aircraft for commercial purposes, such as passenger transport, cargo transport, and photography. Their duties include pre-flight checks, setting flight plans, monitoring weather conditions, and communicating with air traffic control. Military pilots are responsible for operating military aircraft, such as fighter jets and helicopters. They must have a high level of skill and physical fitness in order to operate these complex and powerful machines. Pilots are also responsible for ensuring the safety of their passengers and crew. Attendants An aircraft attendant is a crew member who is responsible for the safety and comfort of passengers on an aircraft. They are usually referred to as flight attendants or cabin crew. Their duties include greeting passengers, demonstrating safety procedures, enforcing rules, monitoring passenger behavior, serving food and drinks, assisting with boarding and disembarking, and more. Aircraft attendants must be highly skilled in customer service and have a professional appearance. They must also be able to respond to emergencies quickly and calmly. They must be familiar with all of the aircraft systems and be able to explain them to passengers when necessary. Aircraft attendants are an integral part of an airline's operations and provide an important service to passengers. Aircraft is a very big topic. It is impossible to finish this episode of the program. This episode will be introduced here first. Video text and vocabulary and exercises I have uploaded to my website. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share. See you next video.